All right, how's everybody doing out there? All you YouTubers and all you guys looking to fix your laptop. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the LCD panel on a Dell Vostro 1520. This is the Dell Vostro 1520 as you can see right here. Okay, so um, this is very easy to do. First what you're going to want to do is close it of course. Turn the laptop over and remove the battery right here. Make sure it's unlocked on this side and then just slide. You slide the battery out like that. And then what you want to do is you want to remove the screws from right here, here, and take this panel off right here. Next you want to remove the screws from right here, and right here, this bottom piece. And this just slides down, comes off itself. Then what you want to do is you want to remove the two antenna leads from the laptop, from the Wi-Fi card, right here, and right here. And just snake them out of this hole right here, out through here and out to this panel to where they're hanging out right here. Okay, next what you want to do is you want to flip the laptop over, open it up, and you're going to see this strip right here. This strip pops out, what you're going to want to do is take a flathead screwdriver and pop it out. Usually the best place to do it from is right here on the hinges. Get something flat. Maybe open it up a little bit more to get it to pop out. Do the same on the other side right here. And just continue to pull up on it until it pops out. Okay, now you see it's out. Put that off to the side. Okay, next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the keyboard. As you remove the keyboard, you're going to take off two screws, one on either side, right here. And right here. So do that real quick. And then when you unscrew it, it's just gonna slip out forward. Be very careful, there's a ribbon cable under it. And what you want to do to take the ribbon cable off is flip it up the other way. You see it right there. Maybe a little clip right here. Just flip that down, pull it straight out, and the keyboard's released. Put that off to the side. The next thing you want to do is take off screws on the hinges. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Also what you want to do is you want to remove the video cable. This is right here. Just pull out. The cable is loose. And you want to pull right here. This little black panel. This little black connector right here. This is the webcam cable. If, you, if your Vostro does come with the webcam, pull it out right here. And also, along the same path through all the Wi-Fi wires, you just want to go ahead and pull those out as well. Okay. And then the screen will just slide up off the hinges. You can move the other part of the laptop off to the side somewhere. And you see this is what you have left. It's just a screen. Your Wi-Fi cables hanging out. And your video cable on this side hanging out. Wi-Fi cables on the video side. Okay, next what you want to do is you're going to want to remove the screws on the bezel. There's going to be one right here. One right here. One right here. One right here, one right here, and one right here. Let's take those off real quick, and then the bezel sh should just pop off. Like so. This is the bezel removed. Put that off to the side. And then what you're left right here with right here is the LCD panel itself. 
and the inverter right here. Now to take this off, you're going to take off to take off that screw from the back of the LCD panel. What you want to do is you're going to take out screws right here, right here, and that's it. There's those two screws. Take those off. Okay. And the next step is you want to remove this cable right here from the inverter, which is the the light tube, the backlight cable. And then you want to remove this little black cable right here. It's plugged into the other side of the inverter like so. And the LCD display itself should easily pop out. Like that. This is what it looks like on its own. Okay, here's the, the back of the LCD plastic right here. With the webcam right there, the cable that goes down, and all your Wi Fi cables, the antenna wires. Put that off to the side. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is to remove the LCD hinges and the mounts from the side of the old LCD which is right here, four screws on this side, one, two, three, four, and four screws on the other side, one, two, three, four. So take out those four screws. And there's the right hat side hinge removed. Do the same for the left side. And there's the left side hinge as well. Okay, the next step is we're going to reuse this ribbon cable that plugs into the back of the LCD and runs down. So what you're going to want to do is pull this back cable, pull it straight down. And there it is removed. Okay, and the next step is to get the new LCD, which I got from LaptopScreen.com. It comes in a box like this, inside of a great big time patty yellow manila envelope. Shipping was very fast. I'm located in California. Got it within two days. Here's the new LCD and the anti-static bag. And for this part, just to be safe, I'm going to put on some rubber gloves so my eyes don't touch the screen or anything. Pull the LCD out of the anti-static panel. Okay. The next step is we're going to put this LCD, the Dell LCD cable, onto the, the new panel. Okay, so here I am back. I've attached the cable to the new LCD. Just slide this, the cable from the old LCD that was attached to it, slide it up into the connector up here. And try to use this, reuse this double sided tape a little bit, push it down, and it'll stick. And then we're going to go ahead and um, take this, this protective tape off. Move on to the next step which is just the reversal of the process. And that about does it. Here is your brand new repaired, replaced LCD on the Dell Vostro 1520. Reassembly of the rest of the computers, exactly the reverse of the disassembly. And I'll be back to show you that it works. Okay folks, here's the replaced LCD. The only part I have not put on is this pa the plastic panel piece that goes right here that snaps in, just in case I run into any problems. I'm going to turn it on and show you that it does work. And there you have it. Now it's not going to boot up because it's the new hard drive in here and I need to put on a, the OS, Windows 7, or Windows 8. I haven't decided yet. But as you can see, it is in fact working. In case you can't see. 
There it is. You see that it is in fact working. Now boot it again one more time so you can see. I'm going to turn it on again so you can see it again. There you have it folks. Thank you and you guys have a nice day and I hope this tutorial helps you out very much. Thank you again.